Hello everyone. This video will explain you about domain logic pattern. This pattern actually implemented in domain logic layer. So before knowing what is domain logic pattern, let's discuss about domain logic layer. Domain logic layer is also referred as a business logic layer and it takes all business critical decisions. Now business critical decision can be different for different kind of applications like for a hotel booking system, for car rental system, or a banking system. Business logic can be different. Just take example, if you want to build a module for withdrawing amount from a banking account, for this, we need at least three information. What kind of account is there? What is the account number? And how much amount need to be withdrawn? So once these information input to the system system start with the validations whether the entered amount account number is valid or not the amount which is actually entered that sufficient amount is there in that account or not do we have some kind of rules applied for the that kind of account type for the withdrawal all those business rules need to be checked first once all those business rules has verified then only withdrawal is possible so domain logic does all calculation when the user is given input or it can also work based on the stored data in our system store data basically you can say when we start with the business uh, best logic processing where batch need to be processed maybe for like uh, printing or maybe for all the data backup or other processing as well there also a domain logic layer performs the domain logic layer pass the data to the data source layer so that the data can be saved in system for the later use just take example in this image we have three layer system architecture first is ui layer then we have a business logic layer and the data access layer is the third one. We are right now discussing on the second layer, business logic layer, where all the logic need to be written. Now you can imagine that how important this logic layer is. So if it is that important, our system offers design should be also as much as good so that it will not only work in current scenario, it should also work in the future scenario as well. For that, we have to implement some kind of pattern while writing code. So in domain logic layer, we can implement these four type of pattern. First is transaction script. Second is domain model. Third is a table module and then we have a service layer.